Hello everyone, Neil from BookBolt here, and in this video we're going to go over some exciting updates that we just pushed to the BookBolt Studio. So as you can see, I have the BookBolt Studio open here, I have a cover. Now these are going to be the updates, we're going to go through one by one to kind of show off what we have changed, what you can now do inside the studio to create your low content books. So we've added new text layers, we've added a whole slew of text effects. We've added Justify, and we've revamped all of the textures. So let's go through one by one. I have a few pages open. I'm going to show you guys uh, how this works and how you can use them in your book. So number one, let's go to the first page I have open here, and we're going to talk about the new text layer. So if you come over here and you click on text, you're going to notice that this looks a little bit different than it did before. We still have the old text components right here, but I urge you to please use the brand new ones. We've added heading and multi-line text. These old text components will be going away in the future, and these new ones will completely replace them. I'm going to show you why this is important uh, right now. So let's go ahead and add a heading to the page. So you want to use add heading or add multi-line text. For most of your projects, you're going to be using headings. So I'm going to bring this down here so you guys can see it at the bottom of my screen. And just like always, you're going to have the edit text, you're going to have the colors, you're going to be able to select the text, all of the options in the top menu. Now the difference here is that we now have an effects tab, and the effects tab is going to allow you to do a whole lot of interesting things. So let's go ahead and click that and open it up. You can move this around so you can see it. And let's just say that we wanted to add a border to our text. We would scroll down and we take a look at these. We have distortion, warp, circle, curve, blur shadow, block shadow, line shadow, 3D shadow. And now we come to the border. We also have some text and decoration. So let's go ahead and select border. We would be able to click on yes, we do want a border and be able to play around with the color. Now if I zoom in here real close, you'll see that the color is changing. Maybe I want a red border and I can play around with what that looks like. And then if you're, you are happy with the selection, you would click OK. I'll fit this back to the page. And again, if you want to add any type of effects, you would then click Effects. And there's a lot you can do. So this one is currently checked, right? So I can actually go through this list and say, hey, maybe I want circle text. I'd be able to do that as well. Play around with the different options. What side do we want the arc? Do we want a bottom arc? Do we want a top arc? Where do we want it to align in the center? And I can play around with the radius. Right, so there's a ton of different options in here. If I click this, you'll be able to see every single other piece of text here. So you see I've done a heading right here. I have curved it. Nice curve. You can even do custom curves, right? So let's just say I'm going to add, a, I'm going to delete this from the page and I'm going to add another heading. And let's just say that we wanted to do a custom curve. So what we do, we make sure the layer is selected. We'd open up effects. We would come down here to custom curve. Yes, we want a custom curve. We want it in the center. Click OK. And then all you need to do is click Edit Transform, and each little anchor point can be changed to look exactly. You can slide them along here exactly how you want it to look. Um, so play around with this. urge you to play around with this. There's a lot you can do. And we're not going to show that off in this video, but all of your options for editing any type of text, you're going to add a heading, and you're going to click on Effects right here which will bring up the effects menu, and there's lots of different things you can do. Now the next thing that we have added, these are the new text layers. We've just gone over a few of the fun text effects. We've also added justifying. So as you can see right here, I've added a new multi-line text right here. So let's select that layer, and now if you want to justify your text, you'll come to the top menu, click on text align. You have left, center, right. So Right now, it's aligned to the left, you can align it to the center, you can align it to the right, and you can also justify the text so that it spreads in between this entire box layer, and you can play around with the sizing however you want it to look. So that's going to be that update, and then we've also added justifying two objects that you are selecting. So for example, notice I've added three different shapes all I want to do is select them all, and now you have the option to align these objects in the top menu. You can align them to the left, etc. So that really will help you line certain things up. So if I wanted to line this text up with this box here, I would select these, and then I'd come up here and align objects anywhere on the page that you want. 
The last thing that I'm going to bring up is a texture revamp here. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of that on the page. We'll go ahead and save this and we'll add a new heading. Now let's change this heading here to have a different color so you guys can see this. We'll make it blue. I will zoom in. And we will now go to the textures menu on the left. So the textures menu here, we have two different types of textures. These are going to work differently than they did before. There's going to be a global texture and there is going to be a texture that is layer specific. So if I don't select a layer, notice this is no longer selected and I click one of these textures. Let's say I play around with the opacity, make it look a little grungy and I fit this to the page, this is going to be in the Layers tab, a global texture. It's going to be applied to every single thing on the page. So if I go over here, let me just add a rectangle and change the rectangle color so you guys can see it. If you zoom in, notice how the texture that we have added is now being applied to both of these objects. You can edit the texture in the Layers tab on the right. Maybe I want to get rid of the texture altogether. I can click on delete and no nothing is going to be applied. Now, if I want to apply a texture to a specific layer, all you need to do is select that layer. Again, come to the textures menu on the left, select it. I'll change it down, grunge it up a little bit. And now if we zoom in, notice it's only on the layer that we selected. And in the layers menu, you will see the texture is only applied to that specific layer. You can always right click and edit the texture on that layer later, change the opacity, um, restore the position and size. So if you zoom out, you'll notice here's the texture. If you move it around and you're like, hey, I want it back to where it was supposed to be, you just click on restore position and size or you can delete it. So again, that's going to be a quick overview of all of the new things that we pushed in the back end. We've added new text layers, so please use the new text layers. That's going to be the new headings and the new multi-line text. We've added a ton of different text effects, so make sure you check those out. Play around with them. There's a lot you can do. You can now justify text, and we have revamped our texture menu. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. Uh, and Otherwise, uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.